All right, guys, another week, another bunch of Mortski stuff. So here we are back at the uh, OG Mortski repair. We got big ol' in the background and some other stuff here we haven't shown you yet, but maybe showing you too much. But anyway, I had to round up a couple things. Uh, grab this grill. I've had this chrome grill from when I built that 06 from a rolled over pickup. And anyway, it's got a painted grill, so we're gonna put that in there and. Hopefully that cleans her up a bit. Maybe we'll show you that. Maybe we won't. They're kind of a pain to swap, actually. And then I got some wall hangers here that I took down. I got, well, this is just an old seat cover, but I got an old cast iron seat, and I got a steering wheel fetish. If you want to see a video on the steering wheels, let me know, or maybe I'll show you. I want to get these all hung up, and I don't know. I'm a geek about a lot of things, but grills are cool. Steering wheels are cool. Old headlights, yada, yada, yada. So just uh, every time I... Come down to the shop, check on it, or I'm driving through, I'll uh, bring a tote, grab a bunch of crap. So hopefully one piece at a time, it's all organized at the new shop. But we brought most of it over in one shop, but there's still some stragglers here, so. All right, we're gonna get these loaded up and then we're gonna go uh, to my dad's and we're gonna shovel snow off his roof. Cause that's what we love to do in Podunk, North Dakota is shovel roofs, but Ma's gonna give me supper out of the deal and I gotta go borrow my dad's brake. So I'm gonna pick him up, pick his brake up there. So we can make some floors for a 56 and yeah, what else are we going to do? Oh yeah, we haven't had Christmas because it's been storming so much. We haven't celebrated Christmas for my birthday. So I guess I'm going to get my Christmas and birthday presents. And yeah, we're going to take some stuff down to my old man that I've had here that was his or he needs or yada, yada, yada. So load up a couple more things and we're going to head south. Same story, different roof. We got a couple feet of snow at my parents here. We're gonna move that off. The old man's gonna chip some ice because he said it's pretty much his favorite thing to do this winter other than watch the birds eat from the feeders. Duff is truly enjoying chasing the birds out there and squirrels. All right, is it bad when you breathe hard just going up the ladder? Back to work. How's the rough rate going? Steady. Steady but slow. Amazonia shovels about had her. She's starting to taco up at the front a bit. She needs some body work. I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to try something different. American. Hencho and China. So but between uh, me shoveling up here, got the ridge vent cleaned out so that I can breathe. Dad used the roof rake to pull down a little bit over there. Hopefully we'll make her through the winter. Sounds like a big, big one's coming this year. Oh yeah, Dad said, knock them icicles down while you're up there. Yes, Father. Take care of that. Hopefully it'll slip and fall in the process though. It's gonna be over any time now. 
Is that the fourth roof we've been on in the last three days? Yeah. Good stuff. Calm before the storm. Beautiful night down here. All right, back at it. Duff enjoys it too. He's somewhere chasing critters, I'm sure. Icicles are down. Breaking icicles is just, doesn't matter. It's like skipping a rock for boys, men, children, whatever. You see a puddle of water, you gotta jump in it. You see a open body of water, you throw a rock across it. You see an icicle, you break it, and then you bite it off or play swords with it or smash it over your buddy's head. You try not to die taking it down, but you folks living in the South are missing out breaking icicles like we should like you should set up something to like make artificial icicles indoors and let people go break them it's like axe throwing you could charge money for that <laughs> write that down we're gonna patent that we're gonna be a millionaire it's gonna be like top golf but it's gonna think of the name for our icicle breaking yeah get nice and if you suck at it you gotta drink a natty just kidding no natty ice all right back to work oh, we need a shovel sponsor this thing is She's bad. If I don't ever have to climb a ladder again, that'll be great. All tied down, ready to go. Duff. Ready to go for a ride? Get him. Get him, Duff. Big babies. Who's a big baby? Poppy, this is the way our day is going. The tailgate on my $300 expedition doesn't latch. Lube ain't fixing it. Guess we'll have to pull that cover off. Always something. Got everything home and unloaded. All we got to do is unload that brake. I noticed my trailer brake. Oh, trailer break. My ground wasn't working for my lights. It was grounding through the ball, but we should probably put a new end on that for the old man. It's his nice fancy trailer, so we should fix that for barring it. And then, took this tailgate latch all apart, or cover, and it just decided to work. So we sprayed her down with some croil, and we're gonna put her all back together. Duff, you ready to go for another ride? Yeah. Wish we could have figured out what's wrong with it, but... Guess we're just gonna lube it, call it good. All right, so when we were working on the 56 Chevy, I was complaining about the old shop vac that came with the shop here. It's a ultra plus six gallon, three horsepower. And then this shop vac was hanging in my shop in town. This is a, uh, what is it? Two and a half gallon, two and a half horsepower. This thing works pretty good. This thing sucks and not in a good way. <laughs> That's Holy a knee slapper. And I put, or whatever in the video, I said, hey, what are you guys using for shop vac? Well, the shop vac's still kicking, the old six gallon, three horsepower, but who knows a good shop vac that we should get, or if somebody wants to be a shop vac sponsor, I don't have good luck with these things. They either suck and not in a good way, or they they go bad after six months. A ton of people said this six and a half horsepower rigid I don't really need the capacity, the 16 gallon capacity, but six and a half horsepowers, that's more than double. That's that's more horsepower than these two combined. So there's five and a half horsepower total here. So we'll see, I'll let you know how this thing works. There was a ton of comments about rigids. Everybody said they weren't good. So we're gonna, we're gonna give her a whirl because I'm sick of crappy shop bags. The nice thing, this one actually works pretty well, but. It's just not quite enough. And this thing's got a little bracket that mounts on the wall. So you can, uh, if you got a small shop, like my old shop, you can just hang it up on the wall. It's out of the way. It's pretty good. This thing takes up space and should go right in the dumpster. But that thing's gonna take up a whole lot of space. So hopefully it's good. Another thing that a lot of you folks mentioned, well, not a lot, several folks, is a, like a cyclone adapter that goes on like a five gallon bucket and you put it in line. Well, then you gotta make a cart for it and stack it. It just seems like a lot of work, plus it takes up a ton of floor space, and it's kind of hideous. We can make it out of steel, because I'm definitely not a carpenter. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for making that suggestion, and if this doesn't work, then we'll look into that whole cyclone contraption dealio. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to do it. Somebody sent us, uh, emailed us those, so appreciate that, but this is just easier to just click the uh, 
buy it now. And so we were totally due for a new vacuum cleaner, and uh, this thing is going to be all of the sucking action. So uh, just leave me to my own devices for a while. I said, don't disturb you. I'm cleaning my room. Let's get this thing unboxed. What? No way. You guys ever watch that guy on YouTube? The what no way guy? No, he's not on YouTube, he's on the, the TikTok. Like boogie. Communism. What's this guy? Is this like the backpack that the Ectotron thing that the uh What are those guys called? Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters wear. Ectopack, is that what it's called? That fit. Just gonna leave that guy on there all the time. 
Look at that, it's got like the double nostril. It's not like all wide open. Why doesn't it fit? Why? 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 What the French did we just buy? It's got like some cool like blocking clips. It's not just interference fit, it's actually got a clip to hold the end on. I don't know. Never had much from this small, huh? You gotta use that with that? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't like how big these ends are. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> They're just so bulbous and bulky. Probably should read the instructions. Get a couple of these guys. Again, never gonna get you. I guess this son of a biscuit's supposed to clip on somewhere. So. Check. Just kidding, he's out. Flip on, you son of a bee. There. Okay, let's relapse those. Get my picture graph. Yeah, you can hold this by the handle. Oh, look at that. Maybe that's a thing. And you can make a, a leaf blower out of it. That guy on there. Something like that, and you got and you got a leaf blower. Boom, 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 boom. How neat is that? How neat is that? Did that go back down? Guarantee we never use the leaf blower option. Peterbilt straight pipes, probably. That probably goes there. That goes there. Look at that. It's all together. Just had to read the instructions. What a deal. Still don't know how we get that thing on there, but whatever. Maybe that's the, oh, it's the leaf blower attachment, I bet. Okay. It's number L. It's the blower wand. Yeah, this only goes on when you're blowing. That blows. It sucks and it blows at the same time. <laughs> okay, enough shop vac stuff. Pretty excited about this to use it, but we're not going to use it right away. I got nothing to nothing to suck today, other than today's going to suck me. Wait, what? Hey, so everybody, thanks for uh, making your suggestion about the rigids. I mean, thank you if it's actually good. If it sucks and not in a good way, that vacuum cleaner should suck. Then you suck and you have failed me. But I think it'll be good. Seems like a real nice unit. I don't know what I paid for. Hundred. 20, 130, 150 bucks, something like that. We'll just call it a tank and a half of gas in the old expedition. Back to whatever it is we were doing before we got distracted by shiny objects. You ready to go back to work? Yeah. Oh wait, we better line them all up. For the obligatory Instagram post, you versus the guy she told you not to worry about. Duff, are you gonna stay right there and be a handsome boy for the picture? I swear this is the last of the suckiness on this video. Just kidding, the whole video is gonna suck. But look at that thing. You versus the guy she told you not to worry about. Guys, she told you not to worry about. Anywho, yeah, that thing is a freaking hog. Six and a half horsepowers, 16 gallons versus, yeah, what's combined between those two is eight and a half gallons and five and a half horsepower. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, back at it, Duff. No more sucking around. All right, here we are. Uh, another day, another task. So this place heats off of uh, used oil, and we got about a thousand gallon tank over here. We keep that full of used oil, and I could make a whole video on how all this works. And there's a burner up there. Burns it just like you'd burn propane or diesel fuel or natural gas or anything else but uses used oil it's just a little bit more complicated because it's not piped through the ground and we have to get it here and used oil has various terms to it it's still winter 
That thousand gallon tank, we have to fill up several times a year. So we have 275 gallon totes. Those things are outside because I don't have room for them inside. So we're gonna move some snow and get a couple of them in here because you wanna get the oil nice and warm before you drain it into that tank. So before we run out of oil in that tank, we gotta have them in here so that they get warm. Long story short, it's supposed to get really bad and it took me a lot of snow moving to get out there the last time. So before we get this, they're talking like two feet of snow, like serious, crazy talk. They said that the other day and we didn't get a single flake. But anyway, uh, let's, let's try to get ahead of the curve here. So I'm gonna jump in the skid steer. We're gonna put the 98-inch uh, snow bucket on. We're gonna move some snow to get up to the totes. We're gonna come back, we're gonna put the pallet forks on, and then we're gonna bring said uh, totes inside and let them thaw out for a couple days. And then I don't know if we'll show, put them in the tank. Putting them in the tank is kind of a two-person job, so when Mojo's here, we usually do that because one person has to sit in the skid steer while one person opens the valve. It's the safe way to do it. And we probably don't even, it's the safe way. So anyway, sorry Greta. How dare you? We're kind of recycling. We're reusing used oil instead of just draining it back into the ground or refining it or I don't know. We're doing good deeds. And plus we can burn French, French fry oil. If anybody's got like a tote full of the French fry oil or more or used oil, we could use it because I don't know how we're gonna get enough uh, oil for next winter because right now we got about two totes left. Now, uh, what the previous owner told me, there should have been enough for two winters there, and I don't even know if we're gonna get through this winter, because it's April and it's still snowing. So yeah, we're gonna need a lot of oil before next winter, and we're gonna have to pay out the nose for electricity or propane to heat this place. If you got oil, and you're not in uh, Saudi Arabia or Russia, let us know. It'd be cool if you were in like Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, maybe Montana or Nebraska or Iowa or Wisconsin. Or Illinois, we'd go visit Wes. We'll pick up a bunch in Oklahoma if you got some down there and we go visit Pudding, since he'll never come up here. Anyway, I'm rambling, sound like Pudding. Let's jump in the skid steer, this thing's handy. Handier than pockets on a shirt and dust running around outside because it's nice out. Let's get this swapped out so we don't freeze in here. And the compressor's getting loud. All right, key on. Wait to start, we definitely wait for that to come off before we crank it up. Whoops, my bad. Three quarters tank of fuel, because we just filled it up the last video. Let's press that, because we're gonna operate the loader. We got manual controls, hand and foot, so tip my right foot back, forks roll back, left foot back, forks go up. Vice versa, you get it. All right, throttle, door clicker, and uh, we're off. Oh yeah, we gotta press this up and down. Oh frick, we hit the wrong door. We gotta run this up and down and that'll take our attachment off, like so. We don't even have to get out of the cab. How neat is that? How neat is that? All right, let's click the right button. Oh, there's Duff, he's like, hey, you finally let me in the shop. No, I just pushed the wrong button. We're gonna put her in two speed for this. We're gonna make stuff happen. I'm gonna need my other hand now, so I'm gonna set you down. Tech tip of the day, get yourself a magnetic base GoPro mount if you're a wannabe YouTuber like me. They're super handy, because you can use it as a selfie stick, and you can also uh, stick it to anything that's magnetic, which, working on old junk like we have, there's always something magnetic in the shop. That gas pump's magnetic, the door's magnetic, the walls are magnetic. Bernie pretty much is entirely magnetic other than the tires and the glass and the plastic and the aluminum grill. That's not magnetic in case you didn't know. The aluminum grill. All right, we're gonna swap these forks out for a bucket. Sorry for how bouncy it is. I do have an air ride seat, so that helps, but it doesn't help you guys. We needed a air ride magnetic camera mount. You see how I did that multitasking, steering a machine, hooking up a bucket, talking to you guys. I'm not chewing gum, but you get the point. Look at that, she's melting on us. How would you like to just pull up behind somebody, you know, sneak stealthily with a bobcat and then just boom, just dump some nice cold slushy snow on their face. That would uh, really ruin somebody's day. Hey, there's Mount Mortsky. Guess when the Great Concord is gonna hit the ground? Uh, send us an email, sunnyhillauto at gmail.com, and in the 
subject, put the date that you think the old uh, Great Concord touches the gravel. All four tires gotta touch the gravel. So uh, we'll have judges out here and everything. You can win yourself a prize package. Believe it or not, there is an entire dead side Ford buried there. That is the top of a Ford Expedition like we drive. And you can see behind it, it's about three feet taller. So there's, there's 12 feet of snow back there in the trees. There's Duff. He's on 12 feet of snow right there. Freaking crazy. I mean, we need some more because there's only 40 feet of snow stacked up since we uh, created the Concorde Expedition Excursion Giveaway Extravaganza. So our oil totes are back here, so we gotta move a little snow so that we can drive in and get to them. And the Bobcat works pretty schlick for that. It's like a Swiss Army knife, it does a lot of things. Oh hey look, there's a cab over Ford. Somebody needs to own that thing too. We need to do a video on this 1962. Chevrolet van. It's like a one-ton van. It's got a 235 Chevy in it and a, probably a three-speed, maybe a four-speed. I don't know. I don't know much about it. We need to get that done and get that thing sold or just sell it as is. Don't bang up the fenders on this cab over. There's our tote. Should be one over on the right as well. You don't want to poke holes in these, because uh, Greta would not be impressed. How dare you! But they use the lookout, Duff. You're gonna get an avalanche on you. We'll just put that in that van. If you buy it, the snow comes free. Fairmont Dairy. I actually have a clock, a dairy clock, that matches that. I'll have to show you sometime. Better yet, we should hang it on the wall and make a video of it. Anybody know anything about the Fairmont Dairy? That'd be a good Mortski minute. Just got to get one little, there we go. Now, we should be able to get at those with the pallet forks. So we're going to go swap those out. Get the bucket here. And we'll be in business. We'll add that to Mount Mortsky. Oh yeah, if you're wondering, uh, how to make your guess on what date, I can't tell you, but it's gonna be late this year. There was guys planting wheat in March a couple years ago, I think, but uh, anyway, it is April 2nd, the day after April Fool's Day, and this is how much snow we got, but it is thawing, you know. If we had like another month of this, it might hit the ground. If we get another month of two feet of snow every week, it's probably gonna be July. But it'll be interesting to see. We don't know who we're giving away, probably, I don't know, some t-shirts, maybe, scuba scrapers, decals, maybe some autographed, one-off, really amazing stuff that we have laying around the shop that we're going to throw away anyway, like a license plate or a hubcap, maybe a toolbox, you know, like one of those $5 ones we found in that 1976, was in that one? Is in the square, but no, it is in the square body. One toolbox, three toolbox, four, five toolbox, six, and seven toolboxes, which is conveniently still here. It is sold, but it's going to where's that one going to Texas, I think. Anyway, yeah, and I think the 67 is going to uh, the same guy who bought the AMC. SST Rambler, the Rambler Rebel SST. He's buying that and the uh, black ramp truck. And then I think that square body is going to Texas. Sale is pending on, no, not Texas, Kentucky. Sale is pending on that one. So yeah, we're getting rid of a couple of cars. So we uh, hopefully don't lose the shop this week. So long as we can keep it heated and everything doesn't freeze up. And you know how I said to you, don't come visit me? Well, if you buy a car, that's a free pass to come visit me, you know? So it's just like price of admission at Disney World, right? Nobody wants to pay it, but... I mean, not in a mean way, but... I'm happy to treat you if you buy a car. I'll even give you a sandwich. 
Duff, you want to guide the forks into that thing a little bit better? Yeah, thanks, pal. Let's idle her down. We don't need all of the hydraulic power. Did we get it? Oh, yeah. Tight quarters back here. She's a little slick. Imagine that. That's why I move snow so that I wouldn't get stuck. Brush a little snow off the top so that that all doesn't thaw out in the shop. And we go back and we get the other one, I guess. Easy peasy lemon squeezy when you got a skid steer. Duff, you want to brush that snow off while you're out there? I can tell you're going to be a swampy, nasty, muddy dog mess for the next couple of months. Yeah, we don't need a battery sponsor, we need a Duff bathing sponsor. If you want to come try to keep Duff clean, that is like a full-time job in itself. Oh, that's that's the season that's coming up where there's nice, soft, fresh fecal matter rolling when we're looking for cars and such. Yeah, that's Duff's favorite time of year. In the winter, it gets so hard and it's, it doesn't stick to you as well and cover up your scent or whatever it is that he's going for when he does that. He's a swamp donkey. Uh, yeah, she's a mess. Gonna be a mess. This is my first uh, real spring in this yard, so we'll see how everything drains. We're on a hill, so that helps. We just gotta get it off the hill. Alright, maybe we should make an attachment for Bernie. We could put pallet forks on Bernie and then that thing would be good, but it'd get stuck for sure being two wheel drive. And we don't want to get Bernie all dirty. It's the cleanest thing we probably got in the yard. Other than the blue Dodge. We thought that out and washed it the other day. Should probably hook it onto a trailer and use it once in a while. It's like that pretty girl you date that doesn't do the other things, you know? It's, it's fun to be shown around, but if you don't actually get to use it, what fun is that? If that makes any sense? Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Somebody should probably slap me. Especially a woman that I that I just offended by your boyfriend taking you out and showing you off and stuff. Oh, she's a smooth ride, ain't she, folks? Have you been just jostling around there this whole time? Buccaneer Plus. Compound weed killing liquid nod right. Greta is just crying the entire time in this video. All of the terribleness. We're just terrible human beings. All the weed killers and the pesticides and the used oil and the hydrocarbons and the burning of the diesel fuel and the skid steer that is pre-emissions, doesn't have the def on it. Oh my gosh. Hey, there's the backside of Mount Morsky. Not many people get to see this. The back half of the old Grape Concord is truly a spectacle in itself. I mean, people drive for miles and trespass in my yard to see it, which is a Class B misdemeanor, in case you were wondering. Uh, I don't know his name, I can't pronounce it, but he got to go through that whole process this year because he gave himself the guided tour of Morskis uh, without my permission. And so our local finest assisted me in apprehending said individual and yeah i think it was a 250 dollars fine and a class b misdemeanor but the next time he does it if he breaks probation a year of probation if he breaks it he he gets himself a felony so hopefully he learned his lesson if not he gets to be a felon for the rest of his life i don't know does that stick with you forever it seems like it does you don't want to be a felon kids once he's tech tip of the day don't become a felon I guess you're wondering where Mojo parks. Right there. Employee of the month. Duff's like, hey, I used to be employee of the month. Well, now it's Mojo. Mainly because he's got thumbs and he's awesome. Duff, you want to brush that snow off those for me? That'd be great. Mojo would, I bet. Magnetic base. Stick it to the Bobcat. You're welcome. I should put a link in the description. And then you can get your own.
Oh, and then we got that time here where we get weeds stuck in our bellies. Dang it. You get to take the weeds out of Duff's hair too if you come be our uh, bathing assistant. Let's find a different name for it. Dog groomer sounds better than bathing assistant. I mean, there's leaves a lot to the imagination. Give me the old Dolly Parton wiggle. We'll get the rocks off our fork so we don't drag that into the shop. Well, let's take her out of high gear. She, she chirps a little bit in high range. And of course, White Ryan, the OG tow pig, is parked over the floor drain, so we gotta put this somewhere where the water melts. Tip of the day, get a guy who knows what they're doing to pour your concrete because crappy concrete is hard and expensive to fix. It's hard. Yeah, crappy concrete. No matter how bad you are at pouring concrete, it's always hard. What do the what do the concrete guys say about concrete? There's there's it does two you're guaranteed two things. It gets hard and it cracks. Because that's cement that does that. They get mad when you call concrete cement and cement concrete. One is when it's wet and one is when it's dry. But technically they're the same thing. I mean, you don't call milk ice cream an ice cream milk. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I believe cement, cement truck, that's when it's wet. Concrete is when it's, is when it's hard. Worthless information of the day. No charge for that. All right, let's park this thing here in the way. Close the garage door. Move on to our next task. So yeah, once these things reach room temperature, I don't know if I'll remember to film it or not. Mojo will forget. We lift these things up with the Bobcat and they got a spout on the bottom somewhere. Right there, you take the cap off. You know, you clean all the crap out of it because you don't want the crap to end up in her tank. You take that cap off, clean everything out of there, and then you open that valve there. She's a Schultz, Schultz valve. Somebody watching this probably works for these guys. You know, works for one of the seed or, or the oil or the chemical companies or the guys who build these totes. Who knows what? But then I usually lift it up in the Bobcat and Mojo stands over here and we drain it into this great big funnel. Well, first we crack it open and we drain it into a bucket because this oil comes from a lot of different places and some guys can't differentiate between oil and antifreeze and water or whatever. So we drain it off first to get all the scuzz off the bottom. And then we lift her up there and we drain. Drain her in there, like I said, those are 275s, this is a thousand. We're getting down to our last, well, this, it, who has a 275 gallon gauge in a thousand gallon tank? Us, because we are idiots. Somebody give us a link to a good way to put a gauge in this and in the thousand gallon water tank, because we like to run out in both, because we can't read this gauge, because it's not the right gauge. And that one has no gauge. So maybe that's what we'll do tomorrow. Haul water, it's a real fun job. Uh, the previous owners were, not so inclined to put rural water to the shop. So there's a thousand gallon water tank here. So we have to put a, I think we have like a 375 gallon tank or 400 gallon tank that we put in the back of a pickup. We go to town to the fire department, we fill it up with water, we pay them. What is it? Six bucks a thousand gallons or something like that. Yeah, six bucks a load or six bucks to fill that thing. So it takes us two or three trips to go to town with the pickup and then we got a gas engine driven pump that we pump her out with a great big hose and dump it real quick. And the reason we get it in town instead of running a garden hose is because they have like a two inch hose or inch and a half. They got a big hose in the fire department. It's six bucks. Whereas out here with the garden hose, you got to string it all the way over here and it would take twice as long. So for six bucks, we go to town and do it, pump it in out here, usually overflow it because that's what we do when we fill things. We spill a lot. How dare you? But it's just water, Greta. Don't you worry. We're very conservative with our water around here because like I said, try not to waste it because we got to haul it. That's one thing you, you uh, convenience you don't know until you uh, haven't had it. It's like bucketing water back in the day. Man, that would have been terrible, but I could see why everybody shared the same bath water because they didn't have water heaters and electricity. Anyway, things were different in the old times. On to the next project. Maybe we should go sled. It's pretty nice out. Go slide down the hill. Next task, we're here at the old shop, storage and Need to find a bell housing adapter for a 8BA or 8RT engine. There's a flathead flywheel, so we need to find a bell. So I'm gonna look around for that stuff. See what I can find. 
why wouldn't I put it with all the flathead stuff? I don't know. Maybe I don't have one. I'll have to take one off an engine. But it basically uh, adapts uh, 8BA bell housing to the 59AB transmission. And that's turbo 350 stuff and small block stuff to do some digging. Everybody asks when I come to the old shop. They say they miss it and uh, they miss Mower Man. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe we'll get a Mower Man update while we're here. Lucky, we'll call him a special request for him to drive by. Pretty nice day. Probably be in his pajamas. Never mind, that's what he always wears. All right, I gotta find a bell housing. Great success! After 15 minutes of searching, we have finally found one. I don't know that I... I started off with uh, Borat. Great success. And ended with Speedy Gonzalez. Buenos dias, gatos. So anyway, here's the Ford adapter. You can see I need it. A is how it mounts in my run stand, and B, that's where the starter attaches. And I'd almost given up hope, and I found this adapter, old adapter, I don't know, it's like a Speed Gems or something, that bolts a small block Chevy to a flathead a transmission. So that, well, that'll work, because maybe it won't work. Dang it. Never mind, that wouldn't work. But anyway, I got that. So I could put a small block Chevy in that stand using the Ford mounts. I was thinking I could go the other way. I am an idiot, but anyway, I got one of those. I think I got another one somewhere. I should drag that out as well, since we're here. Found some other goodies, some headers. I don't know what they're for, but we should definitely smash them with a ball peen hammer. Brand new pace setters. I think they're a small block Chevy. 35 6 Ford uh, spare tire cover. They're cool. They got a nice little rib. They make neat motorcycle style fenders on open wheel hot rods. I got a few of them too, so we'll throw it in the pile. All right, let's get out of here and get back to the shop, get to work before we lose the shop. All right, another load of junk. Some uh, aluminum five on five and a half Ford staggered wheels. In case we build a two-wheel drive pickup someday, some wide five wheels, some sleds, you know. We might go sledding. What's better, sleds or saucers, Duff? Oh, and some turbine six-wheel Chevy. Rims, that's who knows what we'll ever do with someday we'll build a four-wheel drive chevy hunt off yeah probably not we'll probably put them on a 69 and older two-wheel drive we painted orange and pull one on the doors we could be like the dukes of day county even though we're not in day county but definitely not in hazard county well let's venture by the old mower man you suppose he's you suppose he's out and about i don't see any mower tracks in the mud hey have i told you get yourself a $300 Ford Expedition. They're great. You just stick a thousand bucks into it every month. It's fantastic. Just kidding. We probably got we probably got three grand into this rig, but you know, fifteen hundred of it's the tires. And then we took it to an alignment shop, and paid them to put a ball joint on a CV shaft in it. Oh hey, look at that! Fat Jan's out uh, raking snow off her roof. Just kidding. It's her husband. Oh, well, there's. Fat Jan herself. If you can't tell by her nickname, ah, she's not, not a small lady. I mean, it's, that's not uh, racism or criticism or... You can't offend anybody by calling them fat. Because, I mean, if you're fat, you're fat. I suppose she probably identifies as skinny. I'm going to hell. What do we got going on over here? Birthday party? Everybody out shoveling the snow. Whole yard full of cars. You can't even see over the snow. Oh crap, we've totally missed Mower Man's place. All right, we're gonna turn back around. We'll be sure to wave at Fat Jan this time because I'm sure she'll wave back. Kill him with kindness. Just wave like you just licked the whole window off. Peanuts out, shoveling off his roof. You gotta use everybody's nickname. You can't use their real name. Because yeah, we're supposed to get a bunch more snow. So we're enjoying it while we can. Should we put a donut right here, Duff? I don't see why not. Stuff it in the rhubarb. Whoop! Can't quite make her. I'm new. I don't know what to do. I'm new! I don't know what to do! Ever since I lived here, they put that sign up. I don't know why. I was pretty fast, I thought. Dad jokes! Are you guys getting sick of me yet? Yeah, if you're still watching at this point, you're either asleep or uh, you got the volume off. Or you're just a dedicated viewer, and Duff and I appreciates you. He'd appreciate if I rolled his window down. He wants to get a good whiff on FJ when we drive by. All right, 
Gotta pay attention. Mower man's house coming up. Okay, everybody wants to know how Mower Man's doing. There's where he lives. Don't go visit him, just like don't show up unannounced at me. I don't I don't know that he's got there's the mower. It does not look like he's been using it. She's buried in snow. So yeah, mower man. They're moving his snow, so they're keeping up to his propane tank, so he should still be alive. But uh, yeah, we haven't seen him in a while. And it looks like the mower's been parked. There's Fat Jan. Wave. Oh yeah, she didn't wave back. She just looked away. Classic. Oh, what is that? Is that like a 99 to 02 Chevy Lumina? Maybe even like as old as what, 96, 7? Lumina spelt backwards is animal. Those things are great. I bet the guy driving it has a ball cap on and a mullet. Probably wearing a jean jacket too. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely does, doesn't he? Oh, he's looking back. I think we're gonna get out of Dodge. Right, Duff? Get the hell out of Dodge. We're finally getting that uh, quote figured out. I need a soda, not a road soda, just an actual soda. Maybe some chips? Want some chip stuff? Some combos? What's your go-to gas station snack? Today, you take a whatchamacallit and uh, maybe some corn nuts. That sounds pretty good. No, scratch that. Maybe some Rolos or a Twix. Or maybe some Doritos, some chips. I don't know. I don't know what they got. Let's see what, see what, what, see what strikes my fancy when I walk into the Quick Rip and get bent over $18 for just a a road soda and a couple of snacks. What a nice day. We haven't been able to drive with the windows down for months. Still looks terrible out there. At least the roads are dry. Dry. D-R-Y. I'm dry too. I need a road soda. Okay. See you in a bit. Oh yeah, don't be a wank. Fill your tank. The old expedition is thirsty, isn't it, Duff? Oh man, you're going to scratch the nice windows in this. $317 crap box. Oh, you're a muddy mess. And he may have rolled in that dead deer that died in the neighbor's yard by the old shop. Whoops. That was nice of that yellow lab to share it with you though. Give you a leg bone. Hopefully you didn't sneak that in the car here somewhere. We gotta start paying for fuel. $77.41 for 24.5 gallons. Expedition here is thirsty. Isn't that crazy that you spend uh, a fifth of what you paid for a vehicle on a tank of gas? Man, I remember when a dime bag cost a dime. Well, you know you're from a small town when the only convenience store in the entire town is closed on Sundays because they can't find any help. And I know that's kind of the case all around uh, the world. But we're not going to get political, but. Guess we gotta go to the next town over and grab ourselves some gas station snackaroos because we don't, it's not open here on Sunday. Son of a biscuit, and the bar is for sale. What is this world coming to, Duff? Oh, look, a sprock hoop. Should we do a revival on a sprock hoop, Duff? A little uh, air cooled Volkswagen engine. Oh, there's an OBS Chevy. Looks like she got a little toasty. Toasty. All right, the search continues for gut bomb gas station food. Probably gonna change my mind by the time I get Cheetos. Sound really good right now. You want Cheetos, Duff? He wants to know if they got fried chicken. He likes their chicken. He likes their burgers, too. He likes it. You'll pretty much eat anything, won't you? Including the butthole out of a dead deer on the side of the road on a 95 degree August day. Don't ask me how I know. Well, maybe the grocery store, I think the grocery store closes that, too. Son of a biscuit. Oh, the open light's on. Let's check her out. Let's check her out. Support the local grocery store. Good thing we pulled in when we did. Apparently they are closing at 4 o'clock and we pulled in at 3.59. She says, we're closing in a minute. Can you make it quick? And I said, absolutely. So, I kind of wanted to shop around figure out what I wanted, but went with Cheetos and uh, Cherry, nope, Sprite. Because was the first thing I saw and I felt bad that they were working on a Sunday because we never work on Sundays. Yeah, they Anyway, so we just uh, got some flaming Hot Cheetos and some Sprite. The guy who bought the old original Ford garage, that's what Grandpa called it, he's uh, got the roof rake out. See those roof rakes, they only work in certain temperatures. The snow's gotta be 
just right. Everybody said, use a roof rake. When they're, it gets really hard, because it gets warm and then it gets melty and then it gets cold and it gets turned into like, almost like ice. But yeah, those roof rakes only work in certain weather. And they're kind of flimsy and they're a freaking shoulder workout. It just works better to go on the roof sometimes, especially if you're, if you think you're young and agile like me. I wonder what Roselle's got going on. Ooh, the old Dodge and Bear Steel and his wannabe torque thrust slash uh, Kregers. Okay, on to the next one. Duff, would you eat the butthole out of that dead deer? Yes. Yes, you would. You look guilty. Now I'm gonna eat my flaming Hot Cheetos with my greasy, disgusting, finger-licking-good chicken fingers. I don't know. My hands are dirty and I don't care. If it kills me, that's the way we go down. I really thought it would have been uh, halitosis, does that kill you? No, that's bad breath. What's the hantavirus? Thought it'd be the hantavirus. Yeah, Dove, maybe I'll even share some with you, but I gotta drive, so put the camera away in a safe location. No distracted driving here. Hands at 10 and 2. Here we are, a new day, another dollar. Put my recycled Pedialyte bottles in the fridge. And we're gonna take this, the 05 tow pig on a little road trip here. Pretty long one, about 400-ish miles, 450 each way. So we're gonna check the oil, check the tires. There's a door seal that goes on the bottom of the door. Right there on the driver's side. And all those pins come out. So I got some new clippies from the uh, eBay. So we're gonna pop the old ones out, put the new ones in. Seal that up, and then we grease it, check the lights, check the tires, and then kick it back outside because we got a storm coming and we need this, I don't know, that's a 40 foot trailer, gooseneck, and all of 20 feet on the pickup. So we need, oh well, yeah, here's 60 foot on the shop floor. So we could use that 70 feet of shop back. So let's get this thing out of here. An old duff dog wants to go for a ride, don't you? We can use our handy dandy. I don't know, tool here for, oh, and then they just snap off. That'll work too, we'll just push that tab in there someday when somebody's fixing the rust on this thing. I wonder what these little black worms were. It'll probably be us. We're gonna run this thing right into the ground. The old 24 mil and the six speed are gonna outlive Duff and I. This is pretty common. My 06 is doing the same stupid thing as well, so I'll have to fix that at some point. I feel like I fixed one of these pickups at another time. If it was this one, clearly it didn't work. Look at that. These guys, I think they were like nine bucks for a 20 pack or something silly like that. Pretty reasonable. Definitely not going to lose the shop find a bag of these clips. I don't know why they can't just make about eight different generic clips instead of the 800 generic clips they have. Everybody's got to have their own weird way apparently. Make sure we put her on the right way. Just like a uh, button in your shirt, you start at one end, you don't start in the middle. Get a few started before we push them all all the way in. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, if only all repairs were like this. Shouldn't say that, we're not done yet, are we Duff? Now we just gotta file these away, or we'll never find them again. Then we gotta do the other pickup, or one of the other doors. Oh, who's a good boy? Wanna go for a ride? Not today. Well, not in this thing. We'll take something else. Come on, man. Killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. Oh, Mojo's back there checking the tires. Come on. You turd. Let's go. We're not going anywhere. All right, I guess we'll just leave you in there. He's the strangest dog. Rides are his favorite thing in the world. Oh, yeah, we got to get an engine running so we got the run stand out. Check our dipstick, Jimmy. <laughs> Stick, Looks like she's right at the top. I think we did just change the oil on this thing. All 12 quarts, three gallons of oil. She holds a lot. All right, should be uh, good to go once we get the tires checked. Also, more junk. 
Oh, uh, here is the one I fixed before. I took, I got those clips come out and not break, and I put washers on them. 60, 60 PSIs? That'll do, pig, that'll do. That'll do, pig, that'll do. And we got uh, 83 in the back ones on the trailer, so we're good to go. Let's go for riding the Expedition. Let's go get Farmstead's Honda and change some oil. Not change oil, change some tires. Come on, let's go. Now that that thing's ready to go, we're gonna go to town. One of my old coworkers, I, I done all his tires, so we're gonna do his tires for him. I hate doing tires, but he helps us find some junk. The old farmstead, he's been on the channel here, did a junkyard tour. He likes to talk cars, but he's got too many other things in his life, mainly offspring and a really fantastic wife. So uh, he doesn't get to work on cars. Well, he, he takes them apart and then they sit there, kind of like we do here. But we're gonna go get the La Honda. I don't know if we've had that on the channel. We have had it on the channel before. I don't remember what for, but we're gonna put some tires on it for him because the tires are deathly terrible. He's like, he said we'd go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. I'm gonna grab my coffee first, okay? Then we'll go. One more thing before you're running out of here. The old trailer plate on this thing is kind of hanging on by hopes and dreams. It's only about a year and a half old, so we're gonna mount that up here. Aren't we, Duff? Right on the fender. So it gets run over every time we bring a car on, but at least it'll uh, stand a chance. You'll see when we get it mounted, but she's cracked out pretty good because, I don't know, grass hits it and whatnot. He's a peasy lemon squeezy. You got our coffee, you got a couple super scrapers to ship out. Uh, you can buy them on the website, mortski.com. We got all three sizes available, the SS1, the SS5, and the SS5 short. So order them up while we got them. Oh, and we got our dog loaded up. In case you haven't noticed, he loves rides. In case you haven't noticed, we're driving the Expedition and it's got the infamous power steering leak. Leak, squeak squeal it's more of a squeal yeah she's real good but she's a, a she's a loyal parts runner and ups runner and loaner vehicle for the little bit of customer work we do i don't even know if this is customer because we're probably not going to get paid because farmstead is a cheapskate so he does give us his empty folgers cans to put nuts and bolts that we're never going to use in so he drinks a lot of coffee all right Let's run some errands and swap some tires. Do whatever it is that we do around here. Nobody really knows. While we're at it, uh, yeah, I'm looking for a scissor lift. So somebody went on the Morski Repair uh, fan book, fan book, fan book, fan, faith? fan club. I don't know. There's a Morski Repair fan club page on the Facebook. And uh, Morski Repair is on Facebook. You can go check that out and see all the cars that we got for sale. You can see all the cars we got for sale on Morski.com as well uh we want morskyrepair.com but we can't get it somebody else owns it so if you know who owns morskyrepair.com i'm not telling you to go break their kneecap but you know find out what we got to do to own that page if you know something about getting websites buying a buying a, a domain we could use that too but anyway scissor lift somebody's like hey you're looking for a scissor lift here's one in uh, ohio well here's the thing like i i am willing to travel for cars or anything, but a, a scissor lift, I think it was like 4,000 bucks, so like full, basically full retail. And in Ohio, like I don't, we're too busy. We can't just jump in a vehicle and go drive to Ohio for a scissor lift. We don't need one that bad, unless it's like a super screaming deal or they had like some other cool old stuff there or they were gonna deliver. But yeah, appreciate whoever put that on there for us, but like we, we need to find a scissor lift in like, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, maybe Nebraska, Iowa, Wisconsin, Montana. We're still getting the ways out there. Like North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota. Let's let's leave her at that. I really don't need a scissor lift. Muffin needs his back though, so we should probably hang some stuff up with that in the next day or two and get that back to him. All right. Post office stop. There she is. The flags are half staff. Oh, I suppose it was that school shooting on whatever day it was we're just gonna park here behind blair's fish house what is it what does it say in the back to fish or not to fish yeah like that's even an option apparently blair likes fishing you gonna keep an eye on the old expedition while i run inside and visit Lori? okay thanks all right duff honda time over here goon hey 
stuff. Let's go with this one. The one that's got the Mortsky decal on it. Can we put that on in a video? Load up. Oh yeah, Honda Beeper. Oh, so tight in here. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> Honda beepers are the worst. The door panel may or not, not be falling off. The visor cover, headliner, everything's... Oh, there's the tires. They fit. Look at all this stuff in here. All of this smells dumb. All right, here goes nothing. I bet that Maint Requid light stays on. 295916 These tires might just get her over to 300 Park brake. You buckled up, ready to go. You ever ridden in a Honda, Duff? You're excited about it, I can tell. Oh, slip the clutch a bit. Here we go. I think this thing's this thing got the VTEC where you gotta really spin it up to win it. Half tank of fuel? Shoot, we can make it to Chicago on this stuff. Is there any sunglasses in here for you to wear? Alright, he needs to fix that windshield. Pretty sure he's gonna double the value of this thing with some new tires. West Lakes, nothing but the finest. Amazon specials. Oh yeah, the seat. I forgot. She kind of rocks back and forth. One, no, 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 no. Run her up to six grand. Pop her in a second. Oh, she really throws you back, huh, Duff? You don't seem impressed. Wow, look at this. Maintenance required and a check engine light. That's a double whammy that somebody needs to take this. Whammy! What's SRS stand for? Super Restitution supercharger supercharger restraint system that's what it is duff it means you got to put your seatbelt on because this thing's got a blower on it yeah you figure out how to hook it down there all right i'm gonna concentrate on driving need all the hands at the uh millennial theft device down here got two of the tires out look at all the crap in this thing battery charger doll shoes i don't know what's this hair clip ice scraper spoon Ice scraper, Ellendale True Value. I voted sticker. Uh, some peak wipers, spare tail light. Oh, magnetic even for when they quit. Battery powered. Plastic, that probably ripped off the bottom. Safety glasses, sunglasses, a rock auto box of something. Oh, running shoes that have never been used probably. What's this, pin reels, line counter level wind, gear driven, I don't know, fishing stuff. Oh, you can check those codes anyway. Tempered glass screen protector. What? Chemistry? Emergency medical responder. What a deal. Look at all that good stuff. Plus Kleenex is the boot. Apparently all the imports do that. Chins doesn't like to latch either. Can't get the trunk pop to work. So we got to do it the old fashioned way, Duff. Oh, look. Full size spare. Trolley jack. Extra oil filter. Oh man, well Honda's got it all. All right, let's get her tuned up. These things are wasted. You mounted upside down. Just kidding. <laughs> all right, license plate modified. A little bit of a ledge, ledge there for it to catch on, but oh well. We'll see how she holds up there better than up there. Now, if only they made like a flush mount light. What we should do is just French it, recess it in there so it sits down and you can't bang into it and then put a light in from the side. But that's a lot of work, ain't it, Duff? What are you doing down there? Are you going? Can you go for another ride? All right, we can kick this thing out of here now. And Duff can stop walking on the trailer bed. So we are about out of time this week for filming for the second channel. We haven't got this oil put in. Uh, we're in the middle of a storm right now and so Mojo can't make it out here. So I'm here by myself and it's kind of a two-person job. So if we get a chance to show that, we'll show it. If not, whatever. Next week's video, there's probably going to be some snow removal because, like I said, we're in the middle of a two-day storm, two-and-a-half-day storm. It's pretty nasty out there. So we're going to have some snow removal when it's all said and done. And the farmstead's car, uh, Mojo wrapped that up. We sent her out the door because we had to make room for that white thing over there. So, yeah, that's kind of what we uh, got done this week. So... Stop back. See you next week. Thanks for watching. Check out the link down below for your merchandise. Uh, check out our link, mortski.com. You can buy scrapers on there. Uh, you can see all the cars we got for sale. You can check us out on Facebook, Mortski Repair. Show all the cars for sale. Yeah. So let us know what you want to see on some of these videos. Uh, comment down below. We read all the comments. If you have something on here that you really think you need, I can't remember what, you know, what it seemed, but 
Morski Repair at gmail.com. We're on Instagram, Morski Repair, all the good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, it doesn't matter how you get it done, so long as you are having fun. Uh, we had a little bit of fun this week. Not a lot. Oil. Not fun. Sorry, Duff. How dare you! All right, Duff. We better get a seat in something. Back at it. This week really sucked. <laughs> That's Boy, a knee slapper. This one actually does work pretty good, yeah.